Hello guys, this is your guy Prince Eno you know, the legend. I'm about to bring to you the last warning and advice of Rehad Bonki to the world before he died. Rehad Bonki was a German American Pentecostal evangelist, principally known for his gospel mission throughout Africa. He has gone to several places in Africa. This, if this is the first time you're watching my video, please click the red, the red button to subscribe to be the first to get it. Now, this is Rehan Bonke's last message to the world. Listen and be blessed. Jesus was speaking here in uh, Luke chapter 13, verse um, 23. Let me read from verse 23. Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, now listen carefully, strive another word for wrestle. Strive to enter through the narrow gate. For many, I say to you, will seek to enter the kingdom of God and will not be able. That's also written in your Bible. If possible, just turn to it. Luke 13 verse 23. And verse 24. Before I start, I want to just pray because I know we need the Holy Spirit. I on my side and you on your side. And we know that He is independent of distances. No matter where you are, the Holy Spirit is there. Let me pray. Lord, I pray for the bottom of my heart that as I pour my heart out to this precious friend. I was going to several places in Nigeria. We went to just Nigeria. The registered decision card was 1.2 million. In their lives. Now he, he went to just and the total uh, decision card was 1.2 million. When he went to Port Harcourt, Nigeria, the total registered decision card was 1 million. 400,000 uh, crowd. He was seen in several places in Nigeria. When he went to Yola, he, the total registered is shortcut 1.4 million. That was in Yola. He went to other places in Nigeria. When he went to Abiokuta, Nigeria, Total decision card was 1.9 million. Massive crowd. When he was vibrant preaching the gospel, when he was in Abuja, Nigeria, the total registered decision card was 1 million forty-six thousand. That was in Abuja. When had bulk was in Akure, he had a this total decision card on 1.8 million. Remember, we had Bulky, uh, his evangelist. He was seen several places in Africa preaching the gospel. He died last week. We had Bulky died last week. Talking about the trending things. He died last week. This is his last message to the world, his last warning and message to the world. Then there is. The gate itself, Jesus said, I am the door, okay? So, and uh, the threshold, you just have to step over and walk from the kingdom with one step from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God or the kingdom of light. And there is room, there you find the cross of Jesus and there is room today there is room at the cross for you 
I'm there already for so many years of my life. I thank God for the great honor. In Lagos, 3.4 million. Wow. When he was in Lagos, he did this third card was 3 point something million. This is great. The narrow gate. What did he mean by that? Why is it so difficult? I want to touch on those things and then at the end we are going to pray together and I will also pray for the sick. So wherever you are, now I am an evangelist. 2.6 million in Ibadan. 2.6 million in Ibadan. See the massive crowd. The massive crowd in Ibadan. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't know the X, Y, Z, or as the Americans say, the X, Y, Z, I do. But when it comes to proclamation of the gospel, I'm an evangelist, and I want to draw as many people as the Lord helps me to do out of the kingdom of darkness and to bring them in, lead them in, into the kingdom of God. And that is what we do now. Strive, wrestle, do something special to enter the kingdom of God. What sin is there? There's a lot of rottenness, I already said that. Yeah, so do something special to enter the kingdom of God. That was his last message. Do something special to enter the kingdom of God. He was in Calabar, Nigeria, and the crowd was one point something million. Arrogance. Self righteousness. Now, if this is the first time you're watching my video, click the subscription button to be the first to get it. According to one of my German translations, the reason for the biggest sin, it says there, is that they don't believe in my name. Unbelief is the reason for the biggest sin. Have you ever heard that expressed like this? It stumped me when I read it and I said, wow, it's not, it's not murder. It's not It's unbelief. And why is it unbelief? Because unbelief blocks God. It blocks it completely. And there can be no help from God, no help from Jesus Christ if we are filled with unbelief, pride. Let me talk about very briefly about these things. I'm not a preacher explaining what sins are. I don't want to explain uh, uh, the disease. I want to come to the medicine. And that is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why I keep saying the best pill is the gospel. Hallelujah. Come on, say amen. Pride is a terrible sin. The Bible says pride comes before the fall. And if there's pride in one's life, the fall is just around the bend. Arrogance. We, all, we, there are, are people who, who, who could be called know-alls. They know everything, but everything the wrong way around. The wrong way around. Arrogance. Arrogance towards the word of God. Yet the word of God, the Lord says, my word is truth. Truth. If you want truth, here it is. Jesus said. This documentary Rehabonkis made mention of unbelief. Say that the worst that a Christian can do is unbelief. That is the worst sin. Unbelief, arrogant, pride. He made mention of it. I'm not. I, 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 I'm, I'm not an alcoholic. I, I, I don't take drugs. I, 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 I don't get high, so I, I'm, I'm quite a good average. 
it's self-righteousness. The Bible says in Romans 3, we are all sinners and come short of the glory of God. We are all sinners and come short of the glory of God. And Isaiah says, you can look it up, you can Google it and, 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 and get it. He said, all our righteousnesses are like filthy rags. What? Not in this world, but that is God's view of our own righteousness. He wants to forgive us. He wants to cleanse us. He wants to remove our self-righteousness that's in that bulky basket in that bulky basket and won't allow us to pass from darkness to light from the power of Satan to God that's it now if this is the first time you watch my video subscribe to be the first to get it don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time you're watching my video to unload i already said to you let me come to my next point quickly because time flies so quickly always here don't mean to be so long i just wanted to be short and short but you see jesus is the door he said that in John's Gospel, chapter 10, I am the door, I am the door, all right. So he is not only our savior, he is also the door into the kingdom of God. Hmm. How wonderful. Jesus is at the door right now as I speak to you. And he watches you. You struggle to get into that, through the door into the kingdom of God. How you struggle and you don't make it because you are not aware of that bulky, oversized basket that's filled with garbage, the garbage of sin. He watches you. Listen, this is so important. I have a suggestion to make to you, which is why can't you ask Jesus, who is your Savior and who is your helper? Why don't you ask Him now to help you? Become aware of this bulky garbage on your back that pulls you down and gives you depression and all sorts of fears and tears and sorrows and strive in the marriage in your family with the children with the parents he is your helper he's your savior and he wants to help you he wants to help you. Why can't you ask him to help you right now? In Romans we read, Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be safe. Whosoever. Now, I, I almost touch on it every time I preach. But this time it's of great significance. It's of great significance. What I now want to propose is we reverse it. Will you reverse this request to Jesus to help you? Then it is good if we just speak up. You can speak up wherever you are. 
I don't know whether you are at the school or at college or at university. No. I think the subscription button to be the first to get it. Thank you.